Today I released the Privateer. What's going on, Throne Army? Today, I released the private tier pocket. A lot of you have been waiting for this for a while now. For you that don't know, I went to Prague with Connor Wilson from Lax Allsters to plan the Nova Scotia private tiers. That's where the pocket gets its name. Um, on that team, the assistant captain is named Luke Parker, one of the coolest dudes I have ever met. Um, we connected on a really awesome level, um, both lacrosse and just music and a lot of things. And uh, the dude's just covered in tattoos, which is also awesome. And uh, he is an amazing box lacrosse player. Uh, has a very unique style and just puts the ball in the net. And I had the pleasure of throwing around with his sticks and fell in love with his setup. And I asked him if I could offer it to the Throne Army. He said, of course. Um, had an amazing time playing on that team. I got my jersey right back there. And uh, so just thank you to Luke for letting me be a part of the team and also uh, let me offer his pocket to you guys. Now let's get into the head. This is actually for a fan that I met in Windsor, Connecticut. His name is Peter. Um, he was helping us at our, at our booth when we were stringing. He was cutting out mesh, talking to customers, just being an awesome, awesome guy. And uh, he asked to use my stick in one of his games. I said, of course, and he put up two goals with it. And so after his dad came up, he says, I have to get a replica of your stick for my son. And uh, I said, of course I can do that. And so we hooked them up and it came out unbelievable. Here is Peter's Maverick metric with a privateer pocket with 15 mil Soldier LE. Pretty much an exact replica of head and pocket to my stick, just has a little bit different colorway to it. We got black stringing going all the way around, gray nylons, white shooters, and black locks. The only real difference I did was kind of some of the color stringing and then the dye. I wanted to give him something unique to himself and it looks just like my new Cascade R, which I think is unbelievable. Um, so it's got a white to athletic gold fade. And on the inside, we have a bunch of thrown tees, and in the throat, we have thrown apprentice and one of the thrown ball stops. And um, we were calling him thrown apprentice because he was helping us out. Uh, I thought he'd find that to be pretty cool. So I threw that in there, and it just turned out unbelievable. Getting in the pocket, it's a nice kind of uh, just defined mid that's able to bag a little bit low, but has an extremely clean release and a very tight, elongated channel. And what this does is allows you to have extremely accurate, snappy, but low whip. Um, release, which I just find to make this thing completely lethal. My kind of conversion rate has gone up a lot um, in terms of shooting, my shooting percentage, and just kind of where I want the ball to go, it goes. And that's what I love about this setup. Um, it is by far the most accurate setup I've ever had. And what that really does is you do sacrifice a little bit of vertical hole compared to a boxer, some other, uh, an outlaw, some other pockets that I use. But I find if you can shoot that efficient, efficiently, I don't not carrying the ball that much. I really just get those two steps and I just put it in the corner and I'm good to go and I love that. And how you do it is it has the tight channel that's nice and elongated, but then it has a four, a six, and then these two stacked, or these two skip space nylons that are actually just cross lace. And it gives you a very clean release when you're passing. And then when you're shooting, it just snaps right out of the pocket and it goes exactly where you want. Um, absolutely love the feel of this pocket. And uh, doing the pinch adds a little bit of hold to it, but um, we've done the uh, the privateer in a few heads now and it kind of all has that same feel. I just did it the optic and it just feels absolutely amazing but it really has something to do with kind of the over channeling the elongation of it and then the four the six and the two nylons it just gives it a beautiful release um, very very uh, kind of just not really unique but a very distinctive snap release to it that's highly accurate you can really rocket your wrist in it or get your whole body into it which I absolutely love in terms of kind of the, the drop bottom string going to a full 10 diamond lets the ball just really sit a little bit higher in the pocket instead of bagging down all the way to the plastic, which I like as well. Gives it a quicker release, but still gives you that really bottom end um, feel so you can really just drop one handed, put the stick vertical and the ball will just sit right down in there. I recommend this pocket for a midi or attackman that is looking to both pass, shoot, and dodge well. We offer other pockets that are gonna shoot better, gonna pass better, and going to dodge better, but this one is a really amazing balance between those three. Um, it's someone that carries the ball about half the time and then is dishing and feeding and shooting the other half of the time, um, kind of someone that needs to be lethal from many different places on the field. Um, if you're looking for you know something that's going to just do what you need it to do in a certain situation and you're not just you know just the shooter or just the feeder or just the dodger, check out the Privateer. I don't think you will be upset at all. The Privateer pocket is now available on thronestring.com. I have a link to it in the description below. Let me know what you think of the Privateer in the comments. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you soon. optic on the inside on the back you have high school or you depending on what it is and then the jewel itself they did this 